Hello, and welcome to Delta Tech's ABSS video tutorial series. In this video, we will be taking you through the process of installing ABSS accounting. If you have not already done so, please take a moment to watch our pre-installation checklist video. It will guide you through the necessary steps to ensure your installation is successful. To start installing, insert the CD into your CD drive. The ABSS Auto Launcher should start up, and you will see this screen. If the Auto Launcher does not display, then in your Windows Explorer, locate the CD or DVD icon. Double-click on the CD icon to display its contents. Next, double-click on the ABSS Launcher file. You can also launch the setup file directly by going into the setup folder. Then double-click on the ABSS Accounting Setup file. To start installing, if you see the ABSS Launcher screen, click on Install ABSS Accounting. The Setup Welcome screen will display. Click on Next. In the next screen, you will be shown the ABSS Accounting End User License Agreement. You must accept this agreement to continue with installation. Notice that the Next button is disabled. You will not be able to click on it until you accept the agreement. When ready, click Next to continue. There are two setup option types, Typical and Custom. The custom setup type is generally for more advanced users and offers the option of selecting which features are installed. We strongly recommend that you select typical as it ensures that all features are installed. In the next screen, you will be shown the installation folder. This is where ABSS accounting will be installed on your computer. ABSS accounting is, by default, installed on your C drive, in a folder named ABSS Accounting, followed by the version number. The version number may not be the same for you, depending on which version you are installing. In this tutorial, we are installing version 28. If you wish to install it to a different folder, click on the Browse button. Then, navigate to, and select the drive or folder you wish to install to and select it. We recommend that you leave it at the default folder. Do make a note of where ABSS accounting is being installed to. It will come in helpful when you request support. When ready, click Next. Setup is now ready to begin installation. The installation process will take a few minutes. Click on Install to begin. Installation is now complete. Here, you can choose to launch ABSS Accounting. Select that option if you wish. Click Finish to complete the installation and close the setup wizard. After installation is complete, you will see the ABSS Accounting shortcut icon on your desktop. To start using ABSS Accounting, 
you can double click on this icon to launch it. You can also access ABSS accounting from your window start menu. When the ABSS accounting application starts, you will see the welcome screen. From this welcome screen, you can open your existing company file, create a new company file, and also explore ABSS accounting using the sample file. When you install ABSS accounting, a PDF copy of the user guides is saved to your computer as well. The next steps will show you where and how to access these guides. In step 4 of the installation process, you were shown the folder where ABSS accounting would be installed. In Windows Explorer, locate that folder and open it. As mentioned earlier, the folder name might be different from the one shown here. For example, if you were installing version 27, then the folder you see will be C, ABSS Accounting, V27. Inside the ABSS Accounting folder, open the Manuals folder. In the Manuals folder, you will find three guides. The Getting Started Guide, Release Notes, as well as the User Guide. Congratulations! You have successfully installed ABSS Accounting and are now ready to start using it.